Hey guys, so today I did a look using this beautiful duochrome pigment by Makeup Geek in Insomnia. And just to save time, I did go ahead and do my foundation and my eyebrows, but I just used Anastasia Brow Wiz and my Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. Nothing too surprising. So first, I'm just going in with Peach Smoothie and Latte by Makeup Geek and mixing them together with a Sigma E40 brush and just putting that all through the crease. And it wasn't as warm as I was hoping that it would be, so I did go ahead and grab Chickadee by Makeup Geek and put that all through the crease as well, just to warm everything up. Now I'm going in with Brown Script by MAC, and I'm just putting this all in the deeper part of my crease with a Morphe brush. I'm not sure which one that is right now, but I will leave it below for you guys. So I'm just sweeping that all through the crease. I kind of want to keep this look more rounded. Um, so I am just doing that and blending it out very well. Now I'm applying my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This just really helps when I am applying pigments to ensure that they stick and show up very vibrant. Now for the star of the show, I'm going in with this Duochrome Pigment by Makeup Geek in the color Insomnia. It is a dupe for the MAC Blue Brown Pigment. So in some lights, it looks kind of like a bluish green, and then in other lights, it looks like a deep reddish chocolatey brown. And I did go ahead and dampen my brush a little bit just so that it was extremely pigmented on the lid, but I am keeping it right up next to that lash line and I will blend it up further later. And so there are no harsh lines. I am going in and just blending out the edges of that with a clean Morphe brush. I decided I wanted a little bit more pigment, so I did go back in with that Insomnia shadow and put that all over the lid. Now I'm just going in with a little bit more of that chickadee eyeshadow and running that under my lower lash line and blending it out with a Morphe brush. Now I'm going in with a Sigma E65 brush and some more of that brown script color by MAC and running that right along my lash line just to really define that lower lash line and make our eyes appear a little bigger. Now I'm just applying a little bit of this eyeliner by MAC and Costa Riche in the waterline and I am also tight lining with it. Then I added just a touch of that insomnia pigment on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going in with a nylon by MAC and popping that right under the brow bone and I will also put a little bit of that in the inner corners as well. Next is mascara, so I'm just going to curl my lashes and then just applying some of this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Now I'm just bronzing up my face with this Essence Bronzer per usual. Since this look is so dramatic, I did decide that I wanted to go in and contour, so I will be doing a stronger contour today, but I definitely think it brings the whole look together. So I'm just grabbing that middle ashy shade and running that into the hollows of my cheeks um, to make them look sharp and sunken in. I'm lightly contouring my nose as well. Now I'm just going in with the two outer shades, the warmer of the three, and putting that along my hairline and my temples just to make that forehead look a little smaller. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going in with those two highlighting shades and I'm just running that right along the contour to sharpen it up. And I'm also going to place it where I put concealer just to ensure that all of those places are very bright and light and yeah. Now it's time for highlighter. So I'm just using this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Sandstone and putting that on top of my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Now for one of my new favorite lipsticks. This is the Liquid Suede Lipsticks by NYX in the color Soft Spoken. And I just thought it complemented this look really well. I did um, use a different color combination in my previous videos, but they were very similar. Next, I'm just popping on a little bit of blush. This is by Mary Kay in Golden Copper, and I just thought it complemented the warm tones we have on the eyes. Since that blush is so pigmented, I did go back in and just buff it out a little bit so it was not quite as intense. Then I popped on some Ardell Glamour Wispy Lashes, and that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. It was a blast to film. Please leave your comments below, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I would love you forever. Have a great day. Bye!